Welcome to the video. Ryan Knows Tech here again today. It is the 20th of September 2012. The iPhone 5 starts shipping or starts delivering tomorrow, which is exciting. It looks like I am getting mine tomorrow. It's in Kentucky right now, a couple hundred miles south of me. Um, and this happens to be the lightning connector. I ordered another one since it's a different pair, a different uh, connector than the standard 30 pin we've seen for the last, what, eight years now. I figured I should at least have two of these things for my iPhone 5. I like to keep one upstairs since I'll have to charge it with that instead of through this dock now. Uh, and I should have one on my desk or in the car or somewhere else. So I bought another one, Apple.com. Ordered it uh, last Thursday, so it took a week to get here. Today's the 20th. Ordered it, I guess, on the 13th. And uh, normally I would never do something like this on camera, but since the technology has changed, uh, we'll open it up and just see what it looks like in comparison to the 30 pin that Apple's been using for years. I'm not expecting anything exciting. They did lower the price $10. It's only $19 now instead of, uh, instead of $29. We'll get my address out of the way. They have a... Uh, package here. Actually very similar to uh, how the iPhones usually come in a box, a little bit taller than that with the product uh, just shrink wrapped around a piece of cardboard. Lightning to USB cable. Of course this new cable is now um, reversible. There's not one way that it goes. I'm trying to figure out how to get into this box without destroying it. It has a uh, thing on it so they could sell it in a store. guess we just remove that and make a few more cuts. I hope it's the same length. I would rather them not shorten it up. Wow, that is very well packed. Looks like it is the same length, if not longer. Standard USB on one side. It is still USB 2.0. I know some people are complaining that it's no faster than the old cables, but USB 2.0 is USB 2.0. Doesn't look like 3 is taken off that quickly. Um, starting with this end, it's the exact same. Actually, it's a little bit smaller. Get that on camera there for you. It's actually a couple millimeters smaller. The actual wire feels about the same. We've got the same bit of uh, cushioning there so it doesn't kink up. Lengthwise, I'm not going to be able to fit this whole thing on camera. It's exactly the same, is it? The new one is a little bit longer, about an inch longer. And wow, that is tiny. That is really small. We'll put an iPhone 4S up in here to compare. That is really small, and if we compare that next to the 30 pin, we can see why they have changed this technology. Just the thickness and the length, the whole size of the lightning connector is so much smaller and more compact than the 30 pin. And their justification for changing it was they, they said they couldn't make devices any thinner than the iPhone 4 slash 4S with that connector. So as times evolve, as products get smaller and more revolutionary, they need to move to different technology. So this is reversible. You're going to be, you're going to be able to put it in either way. Um, and we're just going to have to deal with the nuisance of having to buy new accessories or adapters for existing accessories to get it to work with the new products until a couple years go by and everything is lightning connector mainstream. So that's the little video here, taking a look at that. It's 19 bucks. If you're getting an iPhone 5 and you're used to having more than one cable, you know, I have one for the 4S. I still have my cable from my iPhone 4. I have one from two iPads. So I've got cables everywhere. And going down to one, I would just always have the wrong one. So I decided to get another one. Thought I'd mention real quick, you do get a little bit of documentation with the cable. Uh, probably nothing you're going to want to read. This would be better used as, uh, I don't know, rolling papers. Uh, Apple, one year limited warranty for accessory, Apple branded products only, and then the certification and compliance documentation there. Really, really, really exciting literature. Glad they sent that. That's the quick video. Leave me some comments. Look forward to the iPhone 5 tomorrow on Friday. Hope you're getting yours then, and I will talk to you in that unboxing video. Bye-bye.